What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Youp Director here with part three of my home theater riser build. And today we're finally going to take care of this front framework section along with the steps, get it sheathed and get it added to the other section of the framework that we've already built. Before we do that, let's once again get this garage ready for some work. Okay, let's talk about an issue that we had in the first video where I was making all those little studs for the trusses to go in the framework and we slightly got them off just a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if you can see here, I took a straight edge and put it right down the side of this and you can see that it's at an angle the cut is. And the reason this happened is because my compound miter saw that I have has an adjustment where you can adjust the angle of the cut and it wasn't locked down all the way. Let me show you. So here's the handle. If you undo this handle right here, let's see how I can slightly get out of adjustment. It wasn't that far out of adjustment, but it was just enough to make everything sit not very well whenever we put it together. So if I get it see, lock in place right there, get it just right, get it closed and we should be good to go on this now. So we have some extra two by fours by eight. We're gonna make some more of these studs. So that way this front section of the framework is gonna be a lot more square and a lot easier to work with than the previous section. So we just finished cutting our last 20 pieces of two by four to make the studs for the front framework. Pretty happy with how this turned out. I checked every step along the way to make sure that they were cut straight, that the blade had not turned or anything like that. And I think we got them all straight. It's gonna make putting this front framework together so much easier. So here are our 20 pieces, nice and straight. Very happy with these. The first pieces, uh, we originally cut 50 pieces and we used 30 of those for the back framework where the chairs are going to be. And so it's going to be nice and sturdy. It's pretty much overkill. A lot of you guys watching the video are probably thinking, why in the heck did he make trusses? Uh, you can see me in the video, I'm not very small. And so the chairs that we want to put back there are going to weigh a lot. And with people back there, we want to make sure it was solid. And so that's why we did it the way we did. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break, get some dinner and I enjoy that food and then come back and finish this up. had time to get back to work and put these trusses together.
So it is the next morning here. We ended up having some camera issues last night, and so we just stopped at that point. And I want to show you what we ended up doing. These are the 17 inch pieces that we were working on, drawing the lines on to make sure that the nails were going in the exact right place. So they're prepped and ready to go. These pieces are about six foot six inches. You saw those, I saw me nail those in. And those two sets of pieces are gonna have these 20 studs in between them. So we're gonna to work to put those together, making trusses out of them, take them downstairs, put them with the other part of the platform. studs and these trusses are finished and complete now I just have to put them together and then work on the steps and put the steps with it so here's a little look at the finished product these are the ones that go in between the main two rows and behind those you'll see the main two rows in the back so just a little bit more work and we'll get them downstairs and put them together so the front framework is down here in the basement. Now we just need to get it nailed together and square it up.
quite capture what I was doing up here at the top. Camera angle is a little bit too low, but see, we put pieces of wood blocking all around this right here to attach the two sections together. And we already did it on the underside as well. It's been a pretty long day. I've had some issues with the steps that I didn't really anticipate. So I want to get that worked out on paper before I move forward to make sure I get that good and straight and square and so it doesn't have a lot of creaks and cracks and stuff when you walk on it when it's completed. So I know I wanted to get this sheath today. Um, I have a couple of pieces to cut to make sure we do that. Uh, part of it too is that the dimensions don't allow the size of sheathing I have. Uh, so I have to kind of really fix that around the steps. So I have to fix that too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed this content. Thanks for sticking with me. And we'll see you next time.